Yo guys, guess what where I'm at? <laughs> um, right in front right there is actually Seafood City and Jollibee. Um, I miss Filipino food, so I'm gonna go grab some Filipino food, man. Um, they open at 8, so it's about like 8.15 right now. Uh, woke up, I delivered this load at Costco. Um, it delivered at 4 a.m., uh, since then, I've been up, man. I'm kind of sleepy. I got another load going to Utah. It picks up at 3 o'clock, so I got time to eat and maybe take a nap. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm going to grab food right now, and I'll show you guys a truck tour, man, um, update. Because I got a few, uh, few things that I didn't have when I did my truck tour at first. Um, and I'm sorry that I haven't been really... Uh, posting up videos uh, That's because man, I've been busy. Um, not really busy, but I've been trying to learn a lot of things and Every time, you know, just end of my shift. I'm just really tired. I'm exhausted uh, You know, like the last thing I want to do is just You know waste time and not sleep. So every time I'm off um, I usually just sleep it out man but i'm back so <laughs> i'm gonna keep posting up videos again um i'm hoping i can get a gopro by the time i go home um next week um i actually been out for almost a month now i haven't been home so it's good to go home man uh can't wait but anyways i'm gonna go inside grab some jollibee and maybe some stuff at seafood city so I'll be back. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. We're, I'm back to the terminal. Uh, I'm actually at Harupa Terminal in California. Uh, I just ate. Um, I ended up not getting Jollibee um, at Sifford City. They had this, um, the grill stuff. It's like a bunch of different Filipino food. Um, I just end up getting that. I might just get Jollibee when I come back home. <laughs> but yeah man i got like a couple food for uh upcoming days so i'll be good but yeah let me show you guys the tour of my truck man uh let me show you guys the things that i got and i kind of want to make this video as you know what do you need in the truck you know especially for those people are coming out here wondering like what shall i bring what sh you know what shall i buy so i'll show you guys that right now so first thing first you know in the driver's seat um like i already told you guys i, I got my pens right here you need pens man uh especially when you do your um trip scanning you know and also like sometimes if you go to like a shipper or to your delivery sometimes they don't have a pen you'll be surprised um there was one time the shipper wanted me to sign this paper and i was like can i borrow a pen i was like uh they couldn't find one for some reason or maybe maybe they just didn't want me to use it you know uh <laughs> uh maybe from the fucking coronavirus uh you know maybe they're they're thinking like i got virus and shit so i had to go back in my truck and grab my own pen and come back so every time now every time you know i go to a shipper you know I always bring a pen with me because shipper they always like have you sign something and they usually want your driver license and yeah that's pretty much it you just basically sign papers and all but next thing you need is gloves man you need gloves i got pairs of gloves i got for snow or rain because this is like a waterproof or weatherproof so the water doesn't really i mean the gloves doesn't get wet and i usually use these i like them because they're really thin um oh that's just a key uh and then also they're gonna want you to get an enforcer lock for your trailer uh that costs 40 bucks um 
you actually don't pay up front they'll just take it away from your paycheck so you're good with that uh next you would need is like a little paper or like notebook i usually use a a sticky note uh this really helps a lot because sometimes uh you go to these one of these shippers and they'll just tell you okay pull up to this door whatever you might forget trust me um the few days a uh, few days that i started they would tell me the door and then, but good thing i was i would still with my mentor and then i would ask him what door did they tell me again you know and you don't want to make that mistakes because like you're gonna look stupid coming back and maybe ask for them like hey what door did you tell me so write it down told you pens and paper um yeah and then so you can also write it down if you're dropping a trailer picking up a trailer so they'll tell you drop it off at this number and then your trailer number would be that 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 so you need to write those things down so yeah man very need uh next you need some pair of glasses that's my glasses right there um i just hooked it up right here because i don't have a cb yet i know majority of you guys are probably like damn still um i'm thinking about it because on these freight liners i don't know if you guys know you need to buy uh the bracket because i don't know if you guys can see that the windows there's no such thing as you can put just a regular bracket in there you need these special ones and they cost 50 bucks just for the bracket so 50 bucks for the bracket and then another 50 bucks for an antenna and then you're looking around like almost 200 bucks for the damn radio so bear with me here man i'm gonna i'm gonna get it but i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna get it but uh i gotta i gotta, i don't know i gotta see i gotta see what's up <laughs> when when the right time comes i will get it trust and like i always tell you tell you guys um you need a truck gps you really need that thing uh like right now i went to uh jollibee right to this filipino store uh when you go to a location let's say you know you want to go get some eat you gotta make sure in your truck gps that there is a truck route you cannot use your damn phone and just drive there because your phone's gonna end up taking you to a side street, neighborhood, whatever. And you you might get in trouble, trust me. So that's like the first thing I got. Um over here we just have like stapler. You need that. Mask, COVID. Need some tape. I don't even know. Uh got like basic tools. What else do I got in here? that's about it uh usually those are just for my trip scanning paperwork whatever and up here i have my vest a spare hat um i bought this at a truck stop um i just don't like it <laughs> so <laughs> i just end up sitting up here i thought it would fit me good but nah -uh. and then this you guys are you guys are you guys already seen this shit um it sprays it sprays every like 10 minutes smells really good um it's like for breeze whatever i got wipes here and then i have like a pack of wipes you guys need some wipes man get some wipes because let's say you you know you eat at your truck and then you get your hands dirty um those gets really handy and then i already went like two of these not two pack pack of these but two of the like the single ones well this is my second one right here um you guys can buy like febreze spray keep your truck smell really good um i got trash bags i got two trash bags uh i got like which you call it sponges when i do dishes um speaking of that i need to do my dishes when i get to utah I like i like washing there because there's a lot of uh truck drivers there in the terminal that they actually wash their own dishes so i felt more comfortable doing it there i got a pack of wipes buy a lot man you never know when you want how to take a shit <laughs> uh these are the 
like the things for that. So I got two of that. Now I'm just making a mess here. Oh, and also get um that soap right there. The yeah for the plates and shit. Um, not so much in the front. Um, what else? Got trash right there. Trash can. You need a trash can. Get a trash can because, um, somebody told me that, um, well, not somebody, but my mentor or, uh, my friends at school that I went to, uh, if you get pulled over by a DOT and your truck looking like a mess, uh, you might get in trouble for that. Uh, they told me nothing could be in the dash, but I think GPS is okay. Cause like, come on, man. What I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna put that thing here, here. Like the fuck, bro. There's no other way to put it but there. So, fuck off. <laughs> That's all the only thing I can monitor at. So, and then it's winter, so you need some lotion, man. I keep a lotion right here. And last time I didn't have a fire extinguisher. Again, that's another thing. You gotta make sure your truck has a fire extinguisher because if you get pulled over by DOT and you get inspected, that's one of your pre-trip. If you don't have an extinguisher, go get one at the shop, it's free. You don't pay for anything here, man. Your company, you ain't gonna pay shit. But make sure it's all Mounted and secured, ready to use. And that reminds me of uh, of my school, <laughs> the pre-trip inspection. But, and then up here, um, I just got more paper towels. I stack up on that. Um, I use a lot. Um, every time like I feel my hands are dirty, I use the wipes and then I dry my fucking hands off. I got like spoons over here, plates my cooking stuff i gotta wash them this is actually uh dirty i just cooked rice on there i gotta wash it when i get to utah and this microwave keeps on moving it's strapped but <sighs> for some reason it keeps on moving but yeah that's my microwave still got leftover rice <laughs> I didn't want to throw it. <laughs> um, this one just got more food at the Filipino place. It's a bibinka. You guys know that? Let me know down below. <laughs> you fuck with bibinka, bro. I got my extension cord right there. And guess what, guys? Oh! A fridge! Alright. So, this thing was actually a bitch to put out. Well, because, okay... You know, I don't know if you guys seen my last truck tour. I had a cabinet here and then, you know, I had to take it out. And then so I asked the shop, hey, uh, can you guys take it out for me um, or not? I could do it. You know, I got some skills when, when it comes to like screws and shit, you know, like, I mean, I used to work on my car. So it was really easy because, you know, I was looking at it. There was like two bolts right there, four bolts on the bottom and two bolts more on the side when you open that door but yeah man this is i just got this yesterday um the reason i haven't really taken a video i was kind of just waiting until i get this fridge so i can show you guys but installation process it was pretty easy uh putting it on the truck like carrying it from the outside to the to here um yeah it's kind of pain in the ass because these things are pretty heavy <laughs> you can't only really imagine me doing it by myself like with this much space you know but yeah man it's sparkling brand new look at this shit uh, i need to get a strap because every time i drive well i test it out i drove right to the filipino store and the doors keep on moving not moving but opening and i mean and it came with this probably not even gonna use that because what for so i use this tape for now it came with it like that so and then over here more food <laughs> i bought a lot man i'm good for like uh 
maybe a week until I take my home time on the 17. Got water. You're, you guys need that, man. I mean, don't drink soda. I mean, try not to drink soda. I mean, I'm not pushing you to not drink soda, but try as much as just drink water. Because if you're out here, keep on drinking soda, you're going to get big. <laughs> Eat junk food, you're going to get big, man. Uh, it's up to you if you want to be healthy or not, but that's my suggestion. Drink water. But yeah, this is the fridge. It's not too bad, man. I like it. I'm so happy because... Like, okay, look, the food that I I just ate, right? So my, the food I ate, one, two, three, four, plus like my bibinka, it was only like $22. And how long is that going to last me? Five days, four days? For $20, five days? Come on. That's really good. You're saving money, bro. You need a fucking fridge. Because, look, every time I eat at truck stops or, like, any fast food when I'm out the road, I'd be spending, like, 10 bucks, like, per meal. So, $10 times, like, five days, that's 50 bucks versus $22. Bro! That's big difference, bro. That's half off. More than half. I got a broom right here. Um, I usually just use it on the inside. If I see like it's dirty already, I gotta sweep, then I use the broom. Um, I was using that to clean the trailer at first because the first time I went to Walmart, they didn't have a leaf blower. I'll show you guys in a bit, but they didn't have it. And so I had to just buy that and, and yep. <laughs> I had to deal with it. Buy a leaf blower. That's a number one thing again. You need that unless you want to sweep a whole 58 inch trailer or 53 feet trailer. Not inch. What the fuck? 53 feet trailer. Then go ahead. But that shit, good luck. That's all I got to say. And you need a USB charger plug. Forgot to tell you guys that. That one has an LED. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, and then over here, uh, I got a new mat. Because the one I had was pretty small. And I didn't like the fit. It was literally like, you know, it's not fitting the whole thing like this one. So this one's perfect. Uh, I forgot what size this is. but But I just measured it um, with my phone. And then I think it was like six of my phone. So that's how I measured it. And I went to Walmart and got it. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. I like it. You know, because like I said, I keep my shoes there. I never really pass this line. If I do, man, that's dirty. I don't fuck with that. Sorry. <laughs> um, Over here. Oh, God damn. You see what happens, man, when you drive? It's just... All over the place. I'm not even going to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Because I keep on fixing it and it's just... Blah, you know? I got to fill up this cabinet, maybe, with food. So, not all of them moves, you know? But pretty much over here, just my food, snacks, whatever, sauces. But, yeah, man. I'm happy because I got my fridge. So, that means I can put more, like, stuff, you know, like meat and like stuff so i can cook so i'm really excited to do that uh because right now i just be eating like dry stuff or like if i have to buy my clothes man i need my hangers i need to get hangers well from home so i just forgot to bring some same thing same thing over here boxers socks table but yeah man and then over here, oh shit, y'all see that? <laughs> y'all see that, bro? We out here, bro, with a fucking 43 inches TV. All right. If you guys asking me how I mounted it, um, it's pretty easy. I just bought a bracket, mounting bracket on Walmart. It was like 10 bucks. 
and then the tv it's still brand new i still have like the what do you call it the plastics are on them and then i don't know if you guys see this this is actually a antenna um that actually just goes behind that window and it, it gives you like free channels um sometimes it's not good sometimes it's you know i just like it because it gives me like the weather and stuff you know sometimes like i'm in a location where it's like snow and shit i want to know like it's it gonna be like a bad storm or whatever so it's really good to have like news and shit uh sometimes they have like movies uh old movies oldies the old movies and shit so yeah man oh and also let me turn it on so i just have this remote velcroed to this so it doesn't move check it out bro oh it looks better at night um let me show you guys right now i don't know if you guys see that looking fresh so it looks a lot better at night um the light on the back really pops out um, it's just a led strip that i had extra at my house and then i thought was like you know why why can't i just bring it my truck and put it on the tv so oh and it also i did go home but just to get my tools so like you know like i said didn't want to take the cabinet out so i had to do it um so i had to get my tools at home i have a lot of tools uh i took it out and for that tv though they did let me borrow the the small tool that i needed um they were just being a bitch about the cabinet because they were like oh what are you gonna do with the cabinet well shit i'm gonna throw it <laughs> oh yes i did i just i just tossed it out man um i mean i wasn't really gonna plan on just keeping it on top like for some reason having this down it just bugs me like i feel like i don't have much space down here you know um so and then i also forgot to take my tool for this because this thing bugs me too i gotta take it out I think it looks better without it. I mean, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to just put it under the bunk. So, yeah. Um, pillows right there. But let me show you guys the the leaf blower. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. So, I got waters right there. Yeah. I just got my bags here. I just th throw them there. That was my old mat that i had it here that had it here it just didn't fit so bye bye to that oh and also you need slippers guys i forgot my slippers um i've been having slippers but i forgot when i went home and i forgot to uh take it with me so i had to buy the slippers at truck stop um you need that when you go showers I think I already talked about that before. Uh, you don't want to be a bare feet when you're taking a shower. Um, over here, we have an inverter. This is for my leaf blower right there. It's huge. Bazooka. Um, very handy, man. You don't want to be sweeping trailers. Trust me. This thing will save you like millions of like minutes or hours sweeping the trailer because before you get to a shipper all right guys this is what i mean man this is the blower this is the trailer like this one right here i just delivered the potatoes and look how dirty it is you have to sweep this you have to make sure this is clean so that's what i'm saying man you don't want to be um sweeping this you want to do this <laughs> a lot easier watch i'll show you guys okay do this one hand all right now 
this is actually not that dirty. So, um, I got pretty lucky, I guess. But it's not always this case. Sometimes, dude, this thing is like dirty, dirty. Like, I mean, it's still dirty. I still gotta clean this. Look how easy this thing goes. Boom, boom. You see that? It just goes out, bro. So I just wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, using this will save you time rather than you sweeping from there all the way back there. Imagine how painful that is with the sweeper. So get you one of these, man. Oh, and then after you just start it back. Okay. Trying to do this with one hand. Uh, and then uh, you just take the the battery and let it charge, man. So it'll be ready to use for next one. Boom. When it's solid green, that means it's fully charged. So right now it's charging because I just used it. That's so much. It should be charging in about an hour, but I usually just have it on when I know I'm about to sweep the trailer. Um, oh, this is the enforcer lock that they will um, not force you, but you actually do need it. Um, this is $40. <laughs> it's a fucking golden, golden lock, man, 40 bucks. Um, you don't have to pay up front, but they'll charge you on your, um, they'll charge you on your paycheck. So this trailer is going to be dropped off right now. I'm going to Utah. I'm picking up this load. It's a, it's a preloaded load. So I just had to make sure this trailer is clean. Um, and I have to fill it up. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. That is less than and a half. So. In this case, I have to go to a fuel station and fill this bitch up and drop it off and pick up my preloaded. Yep. That's it, man. <laughs> Before you can pick up a load, your trailer must be clean and filled up with gas. Like full in tank. So, yeah. What else? But yeah, man, um, you guys like the video, go ahead, smash that like button. Uh, if you have any questions or um, let me know what you guys think about my truck or this company truck or where the truck I'm driving. I don't even know what to say. I'm a fucking company driver. Um, let me know what you guys think of what I did. Um, let me know. Let me know, let me know. If you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, see you guys on the next one. Peace.